Okay, I guess this is just what we're doing. I never thought I would be making a video like this one, but I guess nobody ever really anticipates making a video like this. I've been part of the nerd herd for almost a year now, and I'm honestly surprised at myself for, you know, how long it's taken me to realize what's going on with it and with Haley in particular. Pure evil is a pretty strong term to use, but it is the term that comes to mind whenever I think of Haley. If you know me, you know that I have no reason to lie about any of this, and this isn't meant to destroy Haley's life. That's not why I'm doing this. Haley, if you're watching, this is coming from a place of love. It's just, I, I really hope that you can, you know, get your act together before it's too late, if we haven't reached that point already. I don't even know where to begin with this or even what my mission statement is. It's just a whole lot of things have happened and they've all just like stacked up and it's too much. You know, it's it's made me lose a lot of respect for Haley and and everybody subscribed. Not that I think it's your fault. I think there's just some sort of weird internet brainwashing thing going on and I just I don't want any part of it and this is why. You know, Haley, one of the first things that tipped me off about you was your top 10 video game husbands video. And I have nothing against polyamory or polygamy, but I just have a sneaking suspicion that that's not what's going on in that video. Are you cheating on all of these guys across different franchises and even in the same franchises? Because sometimes you'd have, you know, multiple characters from the same franchise and, and you have honorable mentions, so it's not even 10. It's like, you know, 15, 20, something like that. Do Sora, Riku, Axel, and Terra all know that you're dating them, married to them? Like, what? what is going on? Like, I don't want to get involved in your love life, but if it's affecting other people, especially the amount of people that you reach in your audience and the amount of people involved in that video, then I'm not... I don't think I'm okay with that. You also said that Reggie fils was one of your video game husbands and he's married. Like, does this not matter to you? Or, of course it doesn't, why would I even say that? Those are your relationships, that's fine. I just, I thought it was weird, but, you know, if it was only that, I wouldn't be making a video, but it's just so many things just stacked on top of one another. You know, you steal from your fans, you've stolen from me. Legally, I can't go into detail about the alleged Patreon money laundering scheme and why it was shut down. Um, but I am not the first person to allude to that. It's a theory that exists. Um, so yeah, I can't say too much about that because I don't have any receipts, but it left a receipt on my soul. And apparently stealing is just a common thread in your life. You stole the bow in Link's Awakening. I don't even know what to say to that. I just, I thought I knew you. Apparently I don't because even before all of this, you've, you've done way worse things. You know, you have, an addiction problem, you have a substance abuse problem, and that's fine. I understand, like, it's a struggle, and I'm not saying it's wrong to speak out about it, but to glorify it and promote it to your young audience, that's just something that I don't agree with. You are encouraging your audience to do the same things that you do, and what you do is just really, really wrong. You know, maybe this substance problem is the reason that you do the things that you do, but I I mean, if that's the case, it's your responsibility to stop it and you haven't yet. But it's more than just, you know, thievery and addiction and all of that. That it's, and the weird cheating thing. Like that's, that's all its own thing. I, I don't know if I would be making a video if it was just all that, but it's when you start actively hurting people that I just can feel like the disgust churning within me and I I don't know how anybody can feel okay following you. You were playing Spyro Reignited and you put Spyro in the water purposefully so that you could see sparks change color when Spyro gets hurt and, and your PS4 controller changes color too. And I get that it's, you know, a cool effect 
And and if it, if you had done it accidentally, like Spyro gets hurt in that game, you know, you, you get hurt when you play things, but you did it intentionally. You know, he can heal, he's gonna be okay, and I'm sure that's the justification that you used when you did that, but he's a dragon, you know? You, you can't put him in the water. That's animal cruelty. To hurt him in the first place, even if you know he's gonna be okay, I just, that's abuse. And that's not even the worst thing that you've done. Like when you were playing Bloodborne and you killed a man in a wheelchair. I've always known that you were at least a little bit ableist, but I didn't know you were willing to commit an actual hate crime. And everybody watching kind of made fun of you for it, but nobody was making any kind of moral objections, you know? And I still don't know what's going on with that. I still don't know what you do to like dig your claws into these people and somehow poison them into thinking that you're an okay person. And then possibly the worst thing you've done is something that you did really recently, and I can already feel myself getting emotional about it because it's important to me. But I really want to maintain my credibility for this video because I know Haley's subscribers are so just... You're not crazy, it's just, you know, the effect... It's... it's... it's marketing and branding and internet and parasocial relationships and like I, I get it but I know it's gonna be very hard to you know stand my ground and, and speak the truth but probably the worst thing that you've done you actually did in a pretty recent video where you unboxed a baby like like, I can't believe that was something that I watched, you know? That's something I'm speaking about right now. Like, that was in front of me. I know that you're mama nerd and everything, but do you just not know when you're taking something too far? Human trafficking is too far. I don't know where you got that baby. I don't think I want to know, but you- it, <laughs> That's- heinous and you filmed it and you put it online and that's just it's it's one of many things that you've done and i cannot fathom how anybody hasn't caught on to this yet that's really all i can safely say on the matter and the really heartbreaking part of this is i don't even know if this is going to do anything it probably won't but i just need it on record somewhere that i'm opposed i'm opposed to just everything Haley represents. And whoever's watching, if you're part of the nerd herd, I really, really hope that you can get out while you still can. There are resources available. Um, I will try to help you out as much as I can. Um, yeah, I just... It just needs to stop. birthday, Haley. Not that anybody's ever said this before, but if anybody ever tries to tell you that you're not a real YouTube celebrity, you can tell them to stick it because look, somebody made a shitty little video trying to expose you and cancel you. Trying and succeeding, your subscribers are mine. No, uh, happy birthday. <laughs> and happy 5,000 subscribers. I am so proud of you. You deserve every single one and so many more. I haven't really addressed on here how different my life is because of you and the nerd herd. And it's so weird, I have friends now. <laughs> Who would have thought just from clicking on your console collection video, I would have fallen in love with your entire channel, watched every single stream, including the 12 hour one. And some streams I had to watch twice because I needed to find reasons to expose you. <laughs> Haley, you're legitimately a wonderful YouTuber. I do not go more than a few days at a time without watching your videos. They are my comfort. I told you about that one time that I had a really long day at the airport and I was so stressed and upset when I came home and I needed something to just get my mind off of it and bring me down to a calm level and I watched your videos. And now game nights are a fixture of my Saturdays and I have so many friends from the nerd herd who I love very, very dearly. And you are one of them, of course. My gay little heart sings for how beautiful and sweet and smart and funny you are. And I just love you. So happy birthday again. <laughs> Bye.